Hello world, Prof Mike Green with another video in a series diagnosing JavaScript errors with the Chrome DevTools. Uh, so currently we've got our inspector up and it's letting us know that we've got uh, object has no method on. And if we take a look at our code, uh, we can come in here and it tells us that it's on line 22. So we'll come and look at line 22, button dot on what might be going on there. And this can be a tough one to diagnose, but essentially what the browser is telling us, you're trying to use this method uh, dot on, but that means nothing to me. Now dot on is not something that we've created. That's a jQuery function. If we go look at the uh, jQuery API, here we go, and we can see that it was added in version 1.7. So maybe we're using version 1.6 or older which doesn't have dot on included, or uh, there might be a, a newer version of this. It's not in this instance, but sometimes you'll see version added 1.7. Here's one way to do it. Then version two, we added uh, a new way to do it. So you need to pay attention to what version. And then we can see here that the, uh, the way we've included jQuery, uh, we're not necessarily using the latest version. This could be uh, jQuery 2, but I don't believe it is. So let's do this. This is one of the best reasons to come in, use uh, one of the CDNs, whether it's Google, jQuery's, or whatnot, but keep the file names of any library, uh, whether it's JavaScript, CSS, any library that you didn't write yourself, and even if you did write it yourself, you should really version things. But uh, very clearly label what version of the library you're using. This helps uh, six months, two years down the road when you revisit this code. Well, I can't remember what version I decided to include. Now we'll know that this is 1.11. So let's save that and we'll do a, a refresh. And we'll see that that error has actually gone away. So now we know that we're including uh, one of the newer versions of jQuery which has that dot, dot on method and problem solved.